Welcome and thanks for joining us for the final day of the 2010 World Dairy Expo. I'm Sarah Schmidt with the Holstein World. Today's headline, of course, was the International Holstein Show Milking Cow Classes. Our judge for this year was Mr. Brian Craswell of PEI, and his associate was Tyler Dorian of Quebec. 417 total head were shown in this year's show, and the Grand Champion Award would go to Harview Roy Frosty, shown by Mike and Julie Duckett, Juniman, and Armbrust. She was the first place aged cow, and she hails in Rudolph, Wisconsin. The reserve grand champion was Stonefront Iron Pasta. She was the first 125,000 pound cow, and again, she was exhibited by Mike and Julie Duckett and their partner, George Kaspergen. The honorable mention grand champion and intermediate champion of the show was the first place senior three-year-old I.D. Goldwyn Lynn Lee, shown by Gen Com Holsteins and Jeff Butler of Quebec and Illinois. The honorable mention senior champion was Fleshador Stormatic Zeta, the second place aged cow, shown by Annie Lacour and Luc Bosfer of Princeville, Quebec. And the reserve intermediate champion of the show went to that second place senior three-year-old, Whitaker Stormatic Ray, shown by Jean Yeager and Craig Walton of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And the honorable mention intermediate champion was Bonaquil Cami Final Cut, the first place senior two-year-old, shown by Comstar Holstein, Granja La Ponderosa, Victoriaville, Quebec. Judge Craswell had a beautiful announcement of his grand champion. Let's take a look at that video. I think by the end of the day that people should have an idea of the kind of cattle that we like. I think they're the kind of cattle that are very useful to all breeders. The cattle, we like great udders, we like cows that have that combination of strength and dairiness. Um, before I pick my grand reserve and honorable mention, I'd first of all like to thank Tyler for his assistance. He was, he was a great help. He's been a great friend. And we all need a good friend sometimes. He's been a good friend, and he's uh, a young man that I think has a great future in the business. I'd just like to uh, also thank Amber, my wife, at this point in time. She's uh, a great support. She always keeps things together when I'm on the road, which has been a lot. And uh, I've had lots of good supporters through the years. Uh, Lost the, the good teacher and the supporter a couple of years ago in my dad. And he was uh, a great teacher, and uh, hopefully, I retained a little bit of what he's taught me. So I'm not going to say too much more. Lots of other people we should thank, the exhibitors and that, that goes without saying. The ring stewards have been tremendous. We appreciate your help, guys. And uh, I'm just going to go out and I'm going to tap our grand reserve and honorable mention. Thank you. Well, they're getting the ring ready for Supreme Champion selection just uh, on the other side of this wall. They're going to start off with the Junior Supreme of the show, followed by the Supreme Champion of this year's World Dairy Expo. We're going to sign off right now. We're going to have some video for you to watch that selection. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage of World Dairy Expo 2010. And please tune in to After the Class. Check out HolsteinWorld.com. We've got some links so that you can check out all the coverage that we've had here at the World Dairy Expo.
Herb's the cream champion of the 2010 World Dairy Expo Junior Show is Magic Meadows BBBK Alexis, the grand champion Ash year, owned and exhibited by Brittany Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Of the 2010 World Dairy Expo Junior Show is our grand champion Jersey Classic Fields Vindicate Junior. The Reserve Supreme Champion of this year's World Dairy Expo is our Grand Champion Red and White Holstein, London Red Men Sizemore, exhibited by Morrison Farms from Hollywood, Alberta, Canada. Your Royal Court, it is my pleasure to introduce the 2010 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion. She is Harview Roy Frosty, the grand champion of the team. Owned and exhibited by Michael and Ruby Duncan, Jim and Nancy Duneman, and Dr. Scott Ambrose of Rudolph, Wisconsin. 